check mate. See ya! How is life treating you, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 4 The Ballad of Gay Tony walkthrough video. This is the second Maury Kibitz mission after Kibitz number one. And this video, well, it's a racing video. Because Maury is just as big of a competitive douchebag as his younger brother, Brucey. But I'll explain the situation to you in this video, because that is when Maury explains it to Luis. So let's get on with this mission. It's called This ain't checkers <clears throat> all right viewers as much as i tried to mitigate the background music yeah i'm still with youtube getting a few videos that had been marked as possible uh copyright infringement so i'm not even taking any possible risk no matter how light the music is in the background or if I can get it turned off, I will. I'm still going to talk over and kick out the sound. So, thanks for listening. Throughout the drive, Maury explains to Luis that if Luis competes in this um, competition, this event, this race, and wins, Maury will forgive Tony's debt. It's called a little bit of a calculated risk, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, like I said, Maury's a more competitive douchebag than his younger brother, Brucey. And in the end, you can tell there's no real love between the two siblings. I'm going to fast forward through to where they get to the helipad and the race begins. Oh, Luis, you're going to get your ass handed to you, you bitch. Hey, we're going to give a head start to those on the four feet? This is where some of the skydiving training comes in handy. You want to aim toward the boats on the opposite end of Happiness Island there. And you want to halo jump. You want to get real close to the top of the Statue of Happiness and get Luis in. You'll already beat Maury and the other guy out fairly, fairly quickly. And you want to try, and I missed the boat, but once you get in the boat, you can get ahead and stay ahead of the other two people because now you can drive at a fairly good pace and just keep following the markers. I'm going to fast forward through this because Luis is ahead and never gets behind until the next race. Okay, now that uh, Luis is ahead, beach the boat and grab a car. As you see, he is first of the four people and it's been 
four total minutes. Uh, you just grab any car. I don't know what that guy's doing, but you follow the um, route, pink route, and you hit the nitrous on the straightaways to continue your lead. I don't know why the pink route doesn't go away, but as you see, Luis is first and is staying in first. Again, you hit the nitrous. Boom, you get a burst of speed on the straightaways. And as long as you can keep staying ahead of the other guys, yeah. Don't make too many mistakes. You can feel, you know, you don't have as much pressure when the other guys are on your tail or trying to get ahead of them. Just drive carefully and drive at your leisure. And again, hit the nitrous when you get on the straightaways. I'm going to fast forward to the end here because the drive is a little long. I'm going to talk over this a little bit because of the background music. Luis obviously has won. Brucey, though, well, he feels he's sabotaged. Then he says, no, 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 I actually wanted to lose. And the money that he loaned Tony means nothing. He's got other investments. But, hey, Luis owes him for another job. He's going to have to procure some cars. And he's going to have to visit Brucey in order to do that. I'm going to hit the save, auto save. Let's see, a score of 62, no player damage, time, didn't land in the boat. And hey, I was always first. Oh wait, I wasn't because the other guys jumped out of the helicopter. But now, Luis has a really fancy car and he can do some racing if he wants to. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And if you like these types of videos that I'm producing, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be notified when I produce a video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Oh, and stay tuned for a really weird event that happened when I was trying to get Luis back home uh, from another mission. So this is where things get a little interesting. Uh, I have Luis kick the guy out of his car, and because he hit me, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna run this guy over. He's coming right back at, and he's running away. Uh, yeah, I gonna run him over. In fact, I'm going to. And oh wait, oh wow, I don't want to hit the cop car. Now this guy in the pickup truck starts coming after me which is really really kind of interesting yeah he's coming at me i'm trying to run this guy over and i'm fighting this guy in the pickup truck I'm gonna get this guy finally boom oh yeah now he's gone but now the guy in the pickup truck oh he's not oh gosh he's kind of pissing me off so yeah, I'm going to fight him with car versus pickup truck. And we're going to see what happens. I scrape his... Oh, now this other dude's coming in at me. What the heck is going on here? Everyone's going crazy. Got to back up out of here and get T-boned by the guy in the pickup truck. And yeah, somebody... He, ooh, yeah. And ooh, wait. And ooh, someone starts shooting. Yep, there you go. You see the bullets. The guy in the pickup truck's running, so I'm going to run him down and teach him for... There we go. He's gone. Yeah, this is just some weird crap that happened after 
I was trying to get back to Luis's apartment after a mission. And he fell off the motorcycle, got hit by a guy in a car, and, well, all this funny stuff happened.